Hi students, this is reading number two to go along with our first week, week one of our distance English homework packet. This reading will go along with the afternoon student packet. If you are following along at home with your packet and you realize that your story, the history of the census, doesn't match what I am reading, close this video and go back to reading video number one, which matches the morning class packet. If you are not a part of my distance English class, you are still welcome to follow along, write down any vocabulary that you don't know, ask any questions in the comments below the video. The History of the Census Every 10 years, the United States counts its people. The process is called the U.S. Census. The census determines how many representatives should represent each state in Congress. It also finds out how the country is changing. For example, the census finds out how old people are. It learns what jobs people have. This information helps the government meet people's needs. It also helps leaders plan for the future. The purpose of the census is pretty ordinary, to find out about people. The information it discovers, though, can be surprising. Followers of the Jedi religion The United Kingdom offers a good example. In 2011, that country asked about the religion of its people. Officials were surprised by one of the answers. More than 170,000 people listed Jedi as their main religion. The problem? Jediism is a religion in the Star Wars movie and television shows. A government group was asked to decide if it was becoming an actual religion. It said no to giving it official status. How is the census done? You might picture census workers knocking on doors and asking questions. That is partly true, but here's something you might not know. The U.S. Census was one of the first uses of computer technology. A contest. After the 1880 census, the U.S. government faced a problem. It could not keep up with the data it collected. The population was growing too fast and the country was changing rapidly. More people from different backgrounds were living in the United States. The U.S. Census Office needed a better way to process the information. What did they do? They created a contest. They asked the public to design a faster way for processing data for the 1890 census. Herman Hollerith was the winner. He was an engineer and former government employee. He came up with a revolutionary system. His tabulating machine used punch cards. This machine read the holes punched into the cards. It counted them and a clerk recorded the results. Hollerith's machine made it possible to collect more information and process it faster many purposes. Today the U.S. Census serves many purposes. It can even save lives. Preparing for natural disasters is a good example. It helps the government be ready for a big emergency. Census information tells how many people there are and where they live. Emergency teams find that data very useful. Perhaps a neighborhood has a lot of Spanish speakers. Officials will know to send the people who can best help them. A census gives useful details. It shows how the country is changing. It may offer information for planning new schools or hospitals. The census is not just a bunch of numbers. Its numbers tell stories about the people being counted. How was this story for you students? I hope you found some new vocabulary. As always, leave a note in the comments asking any questions. Um, put some new vocabulary into sentences, and I would be happy to give you feedback on your sentence. Until next time, bye!